If driving a fully electric car is still out of the question for you, be it due to the range limitations, lack of charging infrastructure, or concerns about the battery replacement costs, then you should be looking into plug-in hybrids, which offer quite adequate electric ranges, but seamlessly switch to internal combustion engines if you need to cover longer distances. Today, we are diving into the lineup of the newest and the most anticipated PHEVs of 2020 and 2021. So subscribe to our channel to promote electric vehicles, and let's get technical. Toyota is notorious for not willing to accept all electric vehicles, instead sticking to hybrid and PHEV powertrains. Among the most recent models is the RAV4 Prime, which is the most powerful and efficient crossover from the brand so far and the second fastest production Toyota behind Supra. It enhances the usual hybrid powertrain with new motor generators, a booster converter, and a larger lithium-ion battery. As a result, the setup built over the 2.5-liter Atkinson Cycle 4-cylinder outputs 302 horses. The claimed numbers suggest 39 miles of pure electric driving and 90 EPA-estimated MPGs. The RAV4 Prime will be offered in two trims, SE and high-end XSE, which get standard 7-inch digital dashboard 8- or 9-inch infotainment with Amazon, Apple, and Android capability, as well as a rich set of safety features. Back in the day, Karma was a brainchild of the famous car designer Henrik Fisker, but now it belongs to the Chinese supply company. The version 2.0 of this luxury performance sedan shares only a windshield with its predecessor. The major change is the powertrain, which ditches the GM engine-based setup in favor of the BMW i8 system, represented by a 1.5-liter inline three-cylinder and an electric motor. The combined power reaches impressive 536 horsepower and ensures 4.4 second sprint to 60. The GT is going after Porsche Panamera's clients, who would prefer driving a more exclusive car with a limited 500 units initial release and a substantial 80 miles of electric range. Lincoln continues to expand its plug-in hybrid range, debuting the compact Corsair PHEV in the Grand Touring guise to be sold alongside the updated midsize Aviator. The crossover is built over the same platform as the new generation Ford Escape, though it is distinguished by a more sophisticated exterior, luxury interior, and a richer tech package. The powertrain setup of the Corsair includes a 2.5-liter four-cylinder engine paired with a permanent magnet synchronous electric motor producing around 266 horses. The motor is juiced by a 14-kilowatt-hour floor-mounted battery. This sounds quite similar to the Ford, though the model actually differs in a big way, getting Lincoln's first electric all-wheel drive system with a separate electric motor to power the rear axle.
The performance division of Volvo branched out as an independent brand, which produces high-performance electrified cars only a couple of years ago, and 2020 marks the arrival of their first model ever. By the standards of some lower-specced EVs, the Polestar 1 could be easily recognized as a fully-fledged all-electric car, which possesses a 34-kilowatt-hour battery and can cover 60 miles on a charge. But this car is not about mediocrity, so those two rear axle electric motors work together with an ISG and a 2-liter supercharged and turbocharged inline four-cylinder to bring out 608 horsepower and 737 pound-feet of torque. This is the first car to get Olin's continuously controlled electronic suspension, plus it features custom-made Ake Bono brakes and reaches close to perfect 50-50 weight distribution. The X5 is BMW's all-in-one vehicle, big enough for a family and cargo in the boot, just the right amount of premium and performance. Plus now, it becomes more efficient with the introduction of an X-Drive 45E PHEV powertrain. The developers recognized that the vehicle will likely be used as a daily driver, so the hybrid setup seamlessly transitions between the twin-turbo 3-liter inline 6-cylinder gasoline and the all-electric mode, achieving up to 40 miles of emissionless driving in the latter. The interior of the vehicle is gorgeously decorated with leathers, while the infotainment system is one of the best in the business. By the way, if the X5 is too big for your needs, in 2020, BMW electrifies the rest of the crossover lineup as well in the form of the X1, X2, and X3. On sale since 2017, the plug-in hybrid Pacifica was the first PHEV minivan on the market, and today it remains the only option in its class. For 2021, Chrysler streamlines the Pacifica lineup, turning the hybrid in an engine option instead of a separate model. The MPV gets a new face with the updated grille and all LED lighting, and comes available in four trims. Touring, Touring L, Limited, and the new Pinnacle. The hybrid components remain largely unchanged. The modified 3.6-liter Pentastar V6 comes linked to a dual-motor, electrically variable transmission and a 16-kilowatt-hour battery, good for over 30 miles of EV range. The car also offers plenty of safety features. New Uconnect infotainment with 10.1-inch screen and a FamCam interior camera to watch your kids in the back seat. The 2020 model year marks the revival of the Escape's hybrid range, represented by the already available regular hybrid and the upcoming PHEV that should make its way to the U.S. dealerships in spring. The latter combines a 2.5L four-cylinder engine running on Atkinson Cycle, a single electric motor, 
and 14.4 kilowatt hour battery. This setup promises more than 30 miles of EV range and produces 209 horses, which are directed to the front wheels via the company's power split electronic CVT. Just as the rest of the escape range, the PHEV gets redesigned exterior, standard Copilot 360 safety tech, and plenty of options, including a 12.3-inch digital cluster, a head-up display, and a panoramic Vista roof. In 2020, Audi welcomes its new four-door flagship with a plug-in modification, rated at 25 miles of pure electric range and 134 mpge. The A7 Sportback 55 TFSI utilizes a turbocharged four-cylinder engine, a 14.1 kilowatt-hour battery, and a gearbox-mounted motor to crank out 362 horses. Among the standard model-specific features are 19-inch alloy wheels with red brake calipers, HD matrix LED headlights, sport seats, and a four-zone climate control. The A7 benefits from a signature Quattro all-wheel drive, which enhances fuel economy by sending power to the rear axle under low-stress conditions. But if you want to race the car, expect to achieve a brisk 5.7 seconds 0 to 60. Thank you for visiting our channel. Subscribe if you haven't already, hit the like button, and don't think twice about watching more episodes about electric vehicles. The links are waiting for you on the screen. See you later!